back to the channel. My name is Alan and this is my life in Taiwan. And we're starting today's video with a little bit of a secret. I went on a date recently across the candlelit table and through the aroma of prawn cocktail and above the noise of the solo violinist that I hired, a certain question came up from the lady on the other side of the table. And it's a question that has come up a few times before, either from friends of mine or more often from girlfriends of foreign friends that I hang out with. And sometimes it's asked with an undertone of resentment or sometimes in more of an accusatory nature. And that question is, do you think that foreigners that live in Taiwan would be able to survive back in their home countries? And usually the person asking is asking with somewhat of a biased answer already in mind or some kind of implication that I'm asking you this question because I think it's true and I want to see how you react. So today I am going to react and I am going to discuss this topic and also get a little bit deeper into a topic about whether or not Taiwanese people think that foreigners in Taiwan are losers or what's the typical opinion of the average foreigner here in Taiwan. What I'm going to do is I'm going to split this video up into a few different sections, answer a few different questions. First question I really want to address is, does it actually upset me? Am I bothered by the fact that there are some people that call foreigners in Taiwan losers? I would love to give my usual stoic, thick-skinned answer and say absolutely not. I don't care, DGAF. But in fact, yes, I do care a little bit. To think that some people are looking at me and judging me, making assumptions about my character, based upon the behavior of another person that just so happens to have the same color skin or use the same language that I does is, that I does that I do is pretty upsetting but I do also need to remind myself that it probably isn't the majority of people that have this mindset it's definitely a minority of people that hold this belief so summary answer to the first question does it upset me yes it does To the second question, pretty big one. Do I think or do I agree with the fact that foreigners who live in Taiwan are losers that wouldn't make it or wouldn't survive back in their home countries? And the first thing I have to say is that it is really my belief that every single foreigner that comes to Taiwan has a reason for being here. Maybe even something wrong with their life back in their home country that forces them to give up all of the home comforts that your home country affords you and come to start a life here in Taiwan. Absolutely none of the foreigners that are living in Taiwan right now were originally back in their home countries with a perfect career, perfect family, uh, perfect life, thinking, oh, I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna give up all of this perfect life and travel halfway across the world to a country I have no idea about and start a life there. And I'm including myself in that statement because if my ex-wife hadn't been denied entry to the UK for being a South African citizen back in 2008, then I'm pretty sure Taiwan and a life here would never have even been on my radar. So I guess you could say that's my reason for being here. I failed to find a girlfriend that could uh, live legally in my home country of the UK. So does that mean that absolutely no foreigners here are losers back in their home country that failed at life and came here to start a new life? Well, no, of course not. There are people in that situation that just didn't make it happen back in their home countries. But by definition, doesn't the fact that they realized that and gave up their life in their home country to come to Taiwan and try to start again, reinvent themselves and do something about their negative situation back in their home countries, doesn't that make them a success? Aren't the real losers, the people that choose to stay in their home countries, stay in their shitty situation, not changing anything about their lives and just wasting away their precious time on this earth? I guess what I'm trying to say is that there probably are a lot of successful people back in the West that look like winners on the surface, but are maybe married to a person that they cannot stand driving to a job that they absolutely hate in a city that drives them absolutely crazy. I think we just shouldn't really be judging people based upon what we see on the surface. Welcome to Life Advice with Alan from Life in Taiwan. 
Yes, if you're coming to me for life advice, thank God, help you. But anyway, one thing I should say before I finish this point is that I'm not saying that every single foreigner that comes here makes a huge success of themselves. I have met some absolute degenerate foreigners here in Taiwan that 100% are taking advantage of the system and are also what I would consider to be losers. Going to work late, drunk or not at all, expecting special treatment because they are foreigners, looking down upon Taiwanese people that don't speak English and not adapting to the culture, not speaking even a word of Chinese. And yes, I admit that it's also super judgmental of me to look at those foreigners with a judgmental eye and look upon them as losers, especially when there have been times in Taiwan when I've been pretty close to being exactly the same. When my marriage broke down and William left, anyone bumping into me at four o'clock on a Saturday morning in a local bar in Taichung would have a pretty negative opinion of me and probably classify me as a loser. But thanks to this channel and YouTube and setting myself some personal goals, I've kind of avoided going down that path for the majority of my time here. But who knows what can happen. On to the third question, and that's gonna be, do I think I would survive a life back in the UK? And there's a couple of different ways of answering that. Probably yes, if I'd stayed in England when I left, I probably would have easily and comfortably survived. And without ever having had been, without ever having had been to Taiwan, I probably wouldn't miss the place and wouldn't have anything to compare it to. And I'd probably think I was living a pretty happy life if I'd stayed back in the UK. But having been to Taiwan and seen a completely different culture and a different way of life and having learned so much about myself over the past 12 years of living here, if you now offered me a hundred thousand pounds a year salary to go and manage a hotel, but have to give up the Taiwan experience and completely cut off all my ties and forget all the experiences and forget about the people that I've met and fallen in love with here, then I would absolutely say thanks, but no thanks to your hundred grand a year job. I'm gonna stick with the life I chose here in Taiwan. I would 100% do exactly the same thing that I'd done if I could go back 12 years and make all those same decisions again. But if I went back now, 12 years after having left, things just might not be the same and might not work out for me. Even if we ignore the whole coronavirus thing and what it's done to the world economy, 37 year old guy going back into the job hunting market with a 16 years old sports science degree that is probably completely out of date. Well, I think I would struggle to find a well-paid job and probably struggle to make ends meet. I'm pretty sure I'd end up either in a call center selling people insurance or possibly even in a supermarket stacking shelves, trying my best to get promoted as quickly as possible. Absolutely not a life that I would choose. And if I was doing that, would I consider myself surviving? Probably not. I probably wouldn't want to survive in a world where I'm not happy and not doing something that I absolutely love. At the time I chose to come here back in 2008, I chose this life because I didn't want to live in a world where I wasn't with a more. I chose to give up that life, travel halfway across the world twice to be with her. So my interpretation of surviving is a little bit different to the way that people use it negatively against foreigners. I feel like if you're actually doing something where you're not free to do what you want or you're having a life that's not what you chose for yourself, then you're not really surviving. You're kind of in a prison or in a kind of social jail. What the hell am I talking about? So I would feel trapped and I wouldn't consider myself to be surviving in England if I was doing something that I was being forced to do or something that I, uh, I truly didn't want to do. So let's, uh, let's sum up. And as always, you guys' opinion on the matter matters probably much more than what I've got to say. So please don't forget to utilize the comment section to have your say. Do you know any foreigners that match any of the examples that I've mentioned today? Or do you think that most foreigners you come into contact with are upstanding, great contributors to society and community here in Taiwan? Or have you maybe once or twice come across one of the degenerate foreigners that I talked about in the aforementioned story. Whatever you've got to say, add it to the comment section down below. In summary, I guess what I have to say to sum up 
would be very much a cliche, but it's something that I really firmly believe in. And I believe in doing whatever you want. Be happy, do what makes you happy, but don't do something that affects other people negatively. And to any foreigners in Taiwan that are watching this, that maybe didn't make such a great success of yourself back in your home country, and you have one of those reasons that I mentioned earlier for giving up your life there and coming to Taiwan, but now you're making a success of yourself, you've reinvented yourself as a teacher, and you're doing a great job to affect the future of your students' lives, then I wanna say, well done. You've done like a really good job. I did exactly the same thing. I wasn't a teacher before, I became a teacher and I had a really good impact on the students' lives. I know it's not easy, especially with that undertone or that undercurrent of all foreigners in Taiwan are losers hanging around us the whole time. There are hundreds and thousands of foreigners in Taiwan that have made an absolute great success of themselves. So to all of you that are watching, I want to say keep up the good work, keep protecting the name of foreigners in Taiwan and hopefully this stigma of us being losers or dropouts or degenerates can hopefully become less and less uh, spoken about and become a thing of the past. Definitely waffling as usual towards the end of the video. I think that's time for me to say goodbye well over the time limits on this video. But thanks for watching guys. Thanks for all of your support. Don't forget to check out my series on Koo's channel. Absolutely brilliant, loads of fun. Way better than anything you're gonna see on this channel. So go check that out. But yeah, time to say goodbye. So as for now, and as always, I'll see you next time in my life in Taiwan. Peace.